Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to solve a proportion. I'll cover how to use relationships and cross multiplication. Let's start by using relationships to solve proportions. Now, not all proportions will have a straightforward relationship where we can use this method, but it is a method we can use when we do notice a relationship. There are different ways to solve proportions, so this is a method to keep in mind. Let's jump into number one, where we have 10 to 2 equals 32x. So x is our unknown. We need to find what x equals. So let's look for a relationship that uses multiplication or division horizontally, so side to side, between the ratios. We can use this relationship to figure out the unknown, x. Now remember, whatever we do to the top term, we must do to the bottom term, or vice versa, whatever we do to the bottom term, we must do to the top term in order to keep this equivalent and in proportion. This is just like working with equivalent fractions. These just happen to be ratios in fractional form, and they form a proportion. So let's take a look at the 10 and the 30. Is there a relationship there that either uses multiplication or division? Well, yes, we know 10 times 3, 10 times 3 equals 30. So whatever we do to those top terms, we can do to the bottom terms in order to figure out what x equals. So 2 times 3 equals 6. x equals 6. Now we can also go the other way and use division. So you can go either way when looking for that relationship. So let me rewrite the ratios down below. So 10 to 2 equals 32x. So you may have noticed that 30 divided by 3 equals 10. So we can think what divided by 3 equals 2? Well, 6. So x equals 6 that way as well. So keep in mind that you can go from left to right or right to left looking for that relationship that uses either multiplication or division. Let's move on to number two, where we have x to 49 equals 4 to 7. So we need to see if we have a relationship between our ratios looking horizontally, so side to side. Let's take a look at the 49 and 7. So do we have a relationship here? Well, yes. We know that 49 divided by 7 equals 7. Let's use that information to figure out what x equals. So what divided by 7 equals 4? Well, 28 divided by 7 equals 4. So x equals 28. Now we can also go the other way and use multiplication. Let's take a look at what that will look like. So x to 49 equals 4 to 7. Well, we know 7 times 7 equals 49, so let's use that information to figure out x. Well, 4 times 7 equals 28, so we get 28 that way as well. So there you have it. There's how you solve proportions using relationships. Now again, not all proportions will have a straightforward relationship like these examples did but it is a method to keep in mind if you do notice a relationship and you can use that relationship to solve for your unknown. Now let's take a look at cross multiplication, a method we can use for any proportion, not just proportions where we notice a relationship. Here are our examples for cross multiplication. Now when solving proportions using cross multiplication, we cross multiply, set the cross products equal to each other, and solve. Let's jump into number one, where we have 3 to 12 equals 5 to x. So x is our unknown. We need to find out what x equals. 
First, we'll do 3 times x. That gives us 3x. We can bring our equal sign straight down, and then we have 12 times 5. Now I'm going to use a dot to represent multiplication. That way there isn't any confusion between x's that are variables and then x's that are multiplication signs. Now we can do 12 times 5. So let's bring our 3x down equals, well, 12 times 5, that equals 60. So we have 3x equals 60. Now we have a one-step equation that we can solve to figure out what x equals. So we need to isolate that variable of x. We do that by dividing both sides by 3. So 3x divided by 3 and 60 divided by 3. 3x divided by 3 gives us x and then 60 divided by 3 gives us 20. x equals 20. Now one more thing I do want to mention about using cross multiplication to solve proportions. Don't get too held up on what numbers to multiply first or which diagonal you should put on which side of the equal sign. It will all work out the same either way. Just make sure to multiply diagonally and have the equal sign in between your cross products. Let's move on to number two where we have 33 to x equals 6 to 2. We'll start by cross multiplying, so multiplying diagonally. First, we'll do 33 times 2. So we have 33 times 2. Bring our equal sign down, and then we have x times 6, which we can write as 6x. Next, we can do 33 times 2. That gives us 66. Bring our equal sign and 6x down. Now we have a one-step equation that we can solve in order to figure out what x equals. We need to isolate that variable of x, and we can do that by dividing both sides by 6. 6x divided by 6 will isolate that x, and then we also need to do 66 divided by 6. 6x divided by 6 again isolates that variable, so x equals, and then 66 divided by 6 gives us 11. So x equals 11, and we can rewrite that as x equals 11. So there you have it. There's how you solve a proportion using cross multiplication. Cross multiply, set the cross products equal to each other, and solve. To recap, we can look for a relationship to solve a proportion, or we can use cross multiplication. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.